what is up risk takers welcome to the kill pete strategy i am pete i'm a top player in risk global domination i have a daily release on youtube i do weekday streams on twitch and if you are interested in getting better game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channels and come along the ride with me looks like i got a god spawn here we're playing fix zombies can't advanced really really sweet 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 uh, three for five of Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, hey, thank you, Chad. Thank you for the gifted. All right, so fix zombies, full settings, can advance auto 60 with a neutral bot. Fix cards. Uh, fog is on, portals are unstable. Fix zombies, unstable portals are going to be a long one i betcha <laughs> it'll be hard to actually win this game but i'm a patient man okay the purple player in the second seat did not ready up in the third seat we've douglas beauty from an unspecified location playing as blue the black player is teach flying the flag of saudi arabia and we have m-c-a-r the white player also from an unspecified location. So two players flying the unspecified flag. My spidey sense is tangling, folks. Tangling. Yeah, I think I just go for this bonus right off the bat. Why not? This is BBOTR. This is BB. Ooh, white player also taking their time. This could be a mistake. Do I think prog zombies would be better if it could be six players instead of five? Dude, more players would always be better. Like, let's adapt this game to more players. Peatman would be a happy camper. Dude, I took a jacked bonus turn one. This feels really good. Show you guys how the bonuses look on Canada Advanced. We have Greenland, the top plus five. Newfoundland, Labrador, the best deal in town. Uh, three for five. Quebec worth eight. Ontario worth six. Nunavut worth eight. Northwest Territories worth seven. Yukon worth plus three. Alaska worth plus four. British Columbia and Alberta worth five. Saskatchewan and Manitoba worth four. And the United States of America across the bottom worth ten, if you can hold it. Looks like my bonus does hold to the zombies. So I'm just going to want to invest in it and then expand very conservatively out from it. Portals will close too. Blue starts with a bonus. Plus two. Just have 15 territories. They must. White's going to smack my two. Okay, Black is working on Saskatchewan. Black's going to get eviscerated by the zombies.
Hey, you JJ. Yeah, smacks my two. All right, so we got a two territory, uh, three stack guard, plus two for white. I'm not going to fight other people for their bonuses. <laughs> Try and keep all my shit nice and tight. Just not lose any ground, ideally. Yep, looks good. It's a, a lot of tension between pushing our advantage from the early game and not losing ground to the zombies or our opponents. So I think I'm going to default to some kind of inverted pyramid scheme like I usually do. Um, so I'm going to want to keep my troops a, a larger stacks interior with a softer outer shell. So as my opponents, when and if my opponents get the bright idea to push into me, they get progressively more demoralized when they realize I'm stronger inside than I am on the outside, which is kind of the inverse of how um, risk guards tend to work. But I think it's it's my adaptation for fog here. Also, as I get larger, um, the amount of, okay, black flags here. As I get larger, the, <laughs> the amount of um, unstable portals I might have to guard from grows. So I played this once with automated bot and the automated bot, I just got terribly unlucky back to back to back times by neighbors botting out and fucking me. So the the adaptation here with the neutral bot, I think neutral bot as a general rule is much better for fixed cards. Okay, is blue holding Ontario? Not quite yet. Douglas Beauty, I think you're going to get rocked by the zombies, sir. So we are now in a three-player game, me, white, and blue. Now, unless white and blue are teaming on me, I bet you even then, um, they're probably not good enough. to address this. A turn one plus five is, is OP. White holds, yeah. We don't know if we're getting tag teamed yet. Just, it's a little sus to see unspecified flags from two of the same. Like the unspecified flag already is the most, that's my, my most spidey sense flag of all, right? It's like, you took the time to change your flag to nothing. Right? What are you hiding? Yes. Blue is not having a good time. <laughs> Blue is like, wait a minute. Am I going to get smoked by the zombies? <laughs> Kyle says, if I was from Canada, which you are, I would want to hide my flag too. Ah, the national pride thing, my friend. It's a real shame. So newbie always rocks the Chad flag. Oh, baby. All right, we got a lot of zombies. Yeah, I think inverse pyramid scheme is the play here, right? Have a stronger middle and a softer outside. Let's 
Let's see if we get any portals in our sphere. Why do I use Bhutan instead of Canada? Because that flag has a dragon on it, baby. Okay. Um, blue does hold Ontario. Happy for blue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Blue tried to... Without... You were trying to break me, Blue! You, you motherfucker. Why is he hitting so much? Dude is pissing away his troops. This guy is going to die to the zombies. Bill says it's not inverse pyramid, it's multi-level marketing. <laughs> Dude, the zombie's going to go ham. Ham and whole wheat. All right. White is also over-attacking. Yeah, these guys are just going to get cleaned up. I feel like this game is going to be an easy win for me, but it's going to just take a while. Chad says probably infect. May infect if blue hit a lot. Yeah, well, too bad for Pete then. Feeling good, looking good. Painstaking. Pete, I'm sure you've answered this, but could you rank the Star Trek series by your favorites? Uh, my favorite Star Trek series is Next Generation. Very, very, very close second. Arguably first, Deep Space Nine. Um, then I like Enterprise. Um, Voyager. Original series. And then anything that came after that. The new stuff doesn't get me. I mean, Picard was cool. Um, pro I probably enjoy Picard. I don't know. I've, see, I've watched more of TOS than I have of Picard, though. I watched through Picard season one. I think I watched season two. I haven't even seen season three. So it's like, it's cool. It's cool to revisit. And I'm glad they're making more Star Trek. But I think I've really kind of had fiction go go by the wayside for me a lot, right? I watch, the only TV I watch these days, guys, is Jeopardy and my own shit. <laughs> All right, no portals in the region. Okay, now we're getting 18 for blue. Yeah, blue's gonna get smoked. That gets the 10. Is it going to me now? Watch this guy like kill the zombies or something. Man, he is, is he ever attacking a lot? <laughs> Johan says I haven't watched some of Star Trek but can we appreciate Jerry Ryan in a cat suit yes we can folks yes we can um, let's get a good let's get a good seven of nine pick for the stream ladies and gentlemen Jerry Ryan in a cat suit. That's what I'm talking about. I was more of a T'Pol fan, actually. 
Um, what was her name? What was the actress who played T'Pol? Remind me what her name was. Jolene Blaylock. Star Trek chicks, folks. This is the conversation on the wrist stream. It's about chicks from Star Trek. <laughs> Jerry Ryan looks better now. Nice. Dude, Jolene Blaylock is hot as fuck. All right. Sorry, it was my turn. I got distracted. All right. All right. Looking to get that green, that sweet, sweet green land. Let's see how it all works out. Ever watched Farscape? No, I never did. Hello, Pete. Much love from Greece. Love to you too, man. Back at you. Looking more like Yellowland. Hi, old nasty Nate. That was a good one. <laughs> Are the zombies beating the shit out of Blue? Did he blow it? He blew it. He blew it. Hey, Chad knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> he blew it. <laughs> I knew he blew it. <laughs> you can't expand that fast and fix zombies, dude. You got to defend yourself. Oh, man. He didn't learn his lesson, so now he is over attacking again. This is Blue not learning his lesson. Okay, more Trek questions. What do you think the top five best enemy races are? Ooh, the Borg have to be number one. Number one enemy race. The Borg. Love the Borg. Um, I like the Klingons. I like the Romulans. You know, I like my traditional Star Trek enemy races. Um, the founders are so good. Right, what an enemy! They're so far removed from they, like the uh, founders are a race of uh, shape shifting intelligent aliens. That their natural state of being is a liquid form that they actually just touch and merge with each other in form, as well as in mind. So they're essentially like a hive mind that splits off into individuals um, and can take solid form and can shape shift into any form. And they've created a galactic empire with hierarchical races they, they genetically engineered a warrior race they genetically engineered a administrator race the vorta right i love i love the founders i think the founders are um gotta be you know up there as some of the coolest trek bad guys ha oh hello all right now we got greenland Oh, shit. We got two sets of unstable portals in there, though. We don't want to have backup stacks to fortify. Hey, you one shot. Good morning. Good morning. Feeling any better about my match last night? No, I'm extremely, I'm extremely disappointed that I didn't make it to the knockout stage um, for KPO2. Um, I think they're, I think that fact 
is is a serious problem with the structure of the tournament. Something is wrong, right? I don't know what it is. It's possible I just got unlucky, right? It's possible I made a mistake somewhere that I didn't see. So those are the two things that I'm open-minded to. Um, okay, we, we retook Ontario here. Oh, we, JJ, we all know the mistake you made. <laughs> it's trying to steal a bonus for Bristol Boss. <laughs> it's important to know in all this that it's kill default. No, no, man. Can you guys imagine the constraints Kyle is under? Right? How the fuck are you supposed to have non-stalemate settings with only three modes, right? Zombies, uh, World Dom, and 70, and then no fog. He's fucked. He has no options, right? There's no chance. Is the KPO content over? Well, I'm out. <laughs> I've been eliminated, so yes. It's interesting to see that the neutral bot stacks don't actually get hit, right? They just keep stacking forever. We will co-cast the finals, maybe the semis. Yeah, I'm down. I'm definitely down. You guys can't even imagine how difficult the constraints Kyle is under to try and like fucking juggle all those balls. And by balls, I mean D's nuts. Get it? One shot says, understandable, pal. I know how frustrated I would get when the results I hope for fall short of what I want, especially when it's important to me. I don't necessarily think it's a problem with attorney, though. Everyone has bad games slash tourney. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. What are we expecting to need here? Like, let's just put fucking tens on it just in case, right? Interior tens. Ah, and we lose white. Okay, so we are now in a 1v1. We've already now probably won this game. The neutral bot was the trick. Yes, neutral bot for the win, folks. Excellent. Did you enjoy all the settings? No, no, I enjoyed, well, I mean, I enjoyed Classic Fixed. Um, I didn't like round two. Round three was okay. Round three was a bit on the lucky side, but round three was okay. I, I enjoyed the 70 settings. I enjoyed Troy 70. Um, I hated 2209 Zombies. Uh, I enjoyed Rivertown Advanced. Prog 70 a lot. Um, I hated uh, Reverse World Zombies. That's how, I, that's how I stacked those. I liked Classic Fixed. I liked Troy 70. I liked Rivertown 70. I thought the second World Dom choice was, uh, for, for round two, um, kind of punitive. I don't know. I think the order that look to do it without fog is the problem, right? You need fog. I think we can figure out how to incorporate fog for ne next season. I don't like the randomness. Exactly. Yeah. It, a lot of my games felt like they were coin flips. Most of, most of what I did in the, um, KPO felt like I was just flipping a coin. I, I didn't really have any opportunities to show my abilities in the game. I don't feel like I really felt like in last season, I didn't make it to round eight. I didn't make it to the cutoff rounds because I definitely fucked up. Right. And I could point to something and say, I fucked up there. That was my fault. You can't really be pissed off about that because you fucked up and you, hopefully it's a learning experience. Um, with this one, it didn't really feel like anything I did mattered. And that's not a good feeling. All right, now that I'm in a 1v1, I can just kind of... Push my luck a bit. This guy's on the ropes, though. He's going to try and get in on me, I figure. Now, let's let him. Let's let him. That's why you have quite a few rounds to reduce the randomness. Yes, that was the idea. So if the fact that I can't make it to the cutoff rounds in back-to-back -back seasons with the additional amount of rounds um, either tells you a couple of things, right? Either I'm not 
um, good enough to make it to the cutoff rounds. I, either that or I got really unlucky or the tournament just doesn't have enough rounds. Which one of those is true? The zombies cost you. Yeah. Whoops. Flip tails. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, J Pitt says, all my low scoring rounds I played perfectly and all my high scoring rounds I played like shit. <laughs> that sounds about right, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have no doubt in my mind I played like shit somewhere and I would love to know. That's that's the learning experience, right? Good on Blue for sticking around, man. I'm going to get you, Blue. Douglas Beauty! How dare we get bad luck? Oh, it happens. All right, now we're going to do a bit more of a crusty shell for a crusty guy. Does that stack actually defend? It might defend for me. Um, we'll just leave a 15 there now. That's fine. One shot said, doesn't have to be one factor. Yeah, it's probably a multivariant problem. You might have played like arbitrary 80% as best as you can. Or calm with some bad luck and make you miss the points you need. From what I saw, it wasn't like you were a mile from the cutoff. Top players were consistently falling short of cutoff points. I would give more credence to the argument that the tourney is bad. Well, more to the point, right? I'm not going to make a thing that I can't play. So if the if competitive risk becomes more and more about tournaments that I can't play in, that's not going to work for me, right? I like to compete in tournaments, um, and I'm going to miss like half of my own tournament now, right? It becomes totally uninteresting to me. Is Blue getting anything? Yeah, you're fucked, Blue. You're just, just die. Prepare yourself for death. We'll miss you. I'm keeping that 15 stack in the kitty so I can do a quick fortify to one of the portals that opens. Oh, and thankfully we only have to fortify to one so I can keep building out my one points now. So my next, so this guard now stays, right? This guard doesn't go that way because then it has to split into two. This fortifies here. This is really fun. I'm at, this is like a fun sort of painstaking um, zombies game. Um, I think I can trust this 11 neutral bot to just never hit me and guard on this front. So I can probably release the pressure here and use those troops elsewhere. My next attack is going to be uh, here on this five, and we'll start building it into Quebec. But it really is painstaking at this point. Why not go to Alaska? Like through a portal? Wait, wait for the portals to open and start building an exterior position? The zombies kill the black player. No, I think I want to hit, unfortunately, I think I want to hit that purple 13 because <coughs> I'm going to want to take the plus eight here. How big do we think blue is?
Yeah. So the reason I don't want a second position is the thing that I'm trying to do with fixed zombies is I'm trying to expand. This is a huge board with unstable portals. It's really going to make it hard to guard up my shit. So I'm trying to expand with the fewest number of additional fronts because I need those extra troops to guard against the portals and the zombies. Um, so I want one bigger position rather than multiple smaller ones, if that makes any sense. This guy's still desperately trying to take a bonus. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to work so well, sir. I might be going too slow. I might need to push my advantage at some point, risk getting infected. On scale one to 10, how cooked is blue? Blue will die to the zombies. I might not even, um, I might not even have to kill him. What did I say, folks? And we got the W. All right. And we got the W. <laughs> So now in order for the game to end, I just have to take out the neutral bot, or I still have to beat the zombies because it's zombies. Now that fortifies. All right, well, let's work on Quebec then. It's fixed, it's the problem, right? It's so, like, delicate. All right, now I can start kind of more aggressively expanding. As long as I don't get too many portals, we lose white. All right, now it's just me, purple bot, and the zombies. Big map with uh, unstable portals is tricky. Okay, 15 there. Everything else is going to be fortified off. Um,
So far, I've gotten lucky with the portal distribution. I guess every other turn isn't that brutal. Wait a when this game is over? All right, Tim. <laughs> I mean, I've won. I just want to get the actual win on my record. Why you gotta be a hater, bro? I have four. Okay. Okay, now we have three portals we gotta guard on. So our entire reinforcement goes to guarding these three positions. We end up with a lot of buried stacks because of unstable. Cleaning up zombies pathing is a pretty fun tactical puzzle. Right. Kyle says, fix zombies, clean up on this map with unstable. It's hilarious. Are you enjoying? I'm having a good time with this. This is like tickling my brain. All right. So 10 apiece, I guess, is the best we can do. No. Um, 15 apiece and then one fortify. We're almost there. We now have Ontario. Oh, the bot's there. Do we think that 11 in the middle is weak? Probably not. We now have Manitoba. Why not Womanitoba? Um, ooh, we can take United States next turn. That's a big one. Maybe not. 45, so... 10. 10. Set on three? Ah, it's that dude's trade. Oh, wait, I can't take that next turn. Fuck. All right, I gotta wait for the... Portals to close. We're almost there now. I like how the amount of portals you get is proportional to your generation, so you can still guard them, ideally. At the final neutral bot stack. I'm going to try really carefully just to make sure I don't let the zombies in. Let's take the other portal. I wish it was fucking... Uh, <laughs> I wish it was the... Uh, 
the stable now, yeah. What about the Galapagos days? <laughs> Galapagos? Why not the Galapagos days? <laughs> it's classic Becky humor. Oh, oh, look at this. This is how we know Kyle's in the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. We had the digga -di digga digga dude strain. Gotta love dudes. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's duty. All right, we now got the USA. With the power of the USA, we shall bring freedom. Canadian Arctic Archipelago is going to fuck me up. Next to those two, that connects to these two. What about this one? Yeah, those both connect to those two. Okay, that connects to here and that. This connects to only this. Okay, this connects to those two. This connects to that one. Cool. These... That goes two, that goes one. All right. I get a sense of it. So I'm on a three point. It doesn't look like I am, but I am on a three point now. We had to we had to map that out by what highlighted. This is trickier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I think we just kill the zombies next turn. Should I go for it? I'm feeling reticent to go for it. Ah, fuck it. What's the worst that can happen? General Hoot! It was a real hoot. Uh, huh. Baby. That's fun. I like those settings a lot. Give the bot second. <laughs> Watch me get infected or some shit. Pathing on that map is a mess. Yeah, that's why I had to uh I had to do it the hard way, right? And see all the different ways. Alright, defeating one novice, one beginner, one intermediate. Oh baby! Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. All of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.